This is the voice of Wayne America. Lighten up, Francis. With your host, Hey ho, Kermit the Frog here, Mike Carnes. How do you measure yourself with other golfers? By height. Only at WayneAmerica.com. The supernova is going to kill us all. Dot com. Okay, this guy is a real zero, that's true. Let's just think back when you guys were freshmen, huh? Dot com. Greetings from Wayne America. This is the Voice of Wayne America podcast, an exclusive here at WayneAmerica.com. I'm your host, Mike Carnes, and every week here on the Voice of Wayne America podcast, we sit down with somebody who has some kind of connection to the best town in all of America, and that, of course, is Wayne America. And we want to thank our sponsors for the program, including AKA 142 Media and also Mikey C Productions. And if you want uh, to be a part of the podcast uh, with your business, you can give us a call, or you can give us an email, actually, at uh, Mike at MikeyCProductions.com. A number of communities in the state of Nebraska are setting up what could be described as something of a, a community savings account to help out with local uh, projects in the in the community. And uh, the Wayne Area Legacy Fund is gearing up for its endowment effort that's going to be starting up soon. And on this week's Voice of Wayne America podcast, I thought we'd sit down and talk with Bill Dickey, who serves as the chairman of the Fundraising Advisory Committee. Uh, Bill, uh, the uh, uh, organization, uh, the Legacy Fund, is being organized as part of the Nebraska Community Foundation, which has more than 200 communities uh, in, in the state under its umbrella. Um, tell me a little bit about, first off, about the Nebraska Community Foundation and uh, what uh, their primary function is. Sure. Uh, the Nebraska Community Foundation was actually formed in 1993, and the purpose was really to enhance and strengthen rural communities throughout Nebraska. Uh, as you mentioned, there are over 250 communities in about 80 counties of Nebraska, 80 to the 93, uh, that are part of the NCF. And you know, to date, uh, they have raised uh, like two hundred seventy million dollars, I believe, to benefit their communities. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, uh, like you said, they've been invested more than a quarter billion dollars in the state. Uh, they have uh, seventy million dollars in permanent endowments. So this is really a great philanthropy uh, kind of foundation that's helping out uh, a number of communities across the state. And and it's great to see that Wayne's uh, going to be a part of that as well. Very much so. Wayne uh, has had a community foundation um, back in 2000. Uh, it was kind of kicked off at that time. It was formed to actually help fund the Community Activity Center. And later, the fund was also used to rebuild the Hank Overin uh, uh, field, baseball field. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's never really gotten off the ground to build the endowment. And so um, a new committee was formed um, late uh, last summer, early fall. And uh, so for the last several months, there have been about 10 of us working on this project to uh, kick it off. Yeah. And I'm just looking at the uh, Nebraska Community Foundation's website, and and I'm just looking at some of the other uh, stories of uh, things that have been going on in some of the other communities. And uh, and, you you can see some of the the stuff that the foundation has done in places like Columbus and O'Neill and even really close by like Pender and Laurel and even uh, over by Howells. So... um, and you mentioned that the, the, the Legacy Fund got its start back in 2000, um, or a, a kind of an offshoot of what is now the Wayne Area Legacy Foundation. Mm-hmm. It is. Right. Um, who, who are the, some of the people that are involved in that, uh, in that effort? Um, right now, our committee is made up of uh, Stephanie Liska is our treasurer, uh, Jeannie Harris is our secretary, and um, Kevin Holly is our vice chair at this time. And other members are Jared Highhold, uh, Molly Redden, Liz Onerstall, and Eric Knutson. And then uh, we have a youth representative also uh, from the high school, and that's Jonah Broderson. All right. And how often do you guys meet then uh, to, to work on this? Um, you know, we've been meeting, as I say, probably since last October to kind of get this thing off the ground. And we were meeting, we did a, if you recall, uh, we also did a community survey to look at the needs uh, within the community, what we felt uh, we were direction we needed to move. Uh, we did that at the library uh, back last September uh, to get some additional feedback from community people. And then from there, we've used that input to move forward. And uh, so we're meeting probably now at least uh, our set meeting is the third Tuesday of each month. And then we also throw some additional meetings as especially we get ready to kick this thing off next week. All right. We're, we're talking with uh, Bill Dickey as uh, chairman of the uh, Wayne uh, the Wayne Area Legacy uh, Committee, or Wayne Area Legacy Fund, I should say, and talking a little bit about uh, the uh, getting this thing uh, going and uh, trying to raise some money 
uh, to help out the uh, uh, Legacy Fund as it uh, helps out the community. And uh, we'll talk more with him here in a moment. But first off, I wanted to answer the question, what does the AKA and AKA 142 Media stand for? Well, it stands for many things, but the most important part is that uh, AKA 142 Media provides awesome kicking apps that can be downloaded to your iPhone or your tablet, uh, whether it's your school, your favorite youth sports program, or your local business. AKA 142 Media can build an awesome kicking app that meets your needs. Give Kevin a uh, jingle. You can email him at kevin at aka142.com and tell him that Mike sent you because he needs to make sure that uh, Mike is still uh, hanging around. So that's AKA 142 Media awesome kicking apps. We're talking with uh, Bill Dickey from the uh, Wayne Area Legacy Fund. He's the chairman of the Fundraising Advisory Committee. And uh, I know that uh, uh, you'd mentioned earlier that the uh, some, uh, something something similar to this was set up to get uh, to help raise funds for the uh, Community Activity Center. And uh, and now uh, uh, there's a, a big effort to, to really get this thing going now. And what uh, what is the goal for the committee as far as how much money you want to raise and, and uh, what uh, what do you have to do to get that done? Okay. Um, at this point, our goal, we really like to be able to see a million dollars into this fund. A uh, million dollars would provide about $50,000 annually coming back. If we had that million dollars in an endowed fund, uh, then we could take applications from several uh, local organizations that would maybe need a grant or some something to help them out on a project they're working on, whether it would be uh, anything from the fire department to something at the schools, uh, something with uh, Head Start, um, you, you name it, foster programs, anything like that, uh, we would be able to step in and assist them on in their uh, funding for these projects. Now, these are, are nonprofit organizations that you're, you're talking about, uh, things like the fire department and Head Start and other things. Uh, uh, what uh, what kind of process would they have to go through to to uh, uh, to ask for money from the Legacy Fund? Sure, there'll be an application process. Uh, it'll be like a grant application that they would submit to us and the committee of 10 of us would then sit down and evaluate. And uh, again, depending upon how many dollars we have to uh, give back to the community uh, would probably determine you know what they would be available for them. Mm -hmm. Now, now, when you're raising this kind of money, are you raising that million, assuming a million dollars as, as your goal, is that is that million dollars? Then do you do you use the interest off of, off of that money to to uh, to uh, fund these project requests? Then yes, exactly. Yeah, we do not touch the principal. Uh, this is a type of a project. This this endowment will go on and on long after I'm dead and gone. Uh -huh. uh, it will continue to benefit the community. Uh, we will only uh, provide grants for up to what the interest has been earned off of this principle. So uh, this will be ongoing. And as I just mentioned, I think that if we were to um, get a million dollars into this fund, we'd be able to provide about $50,000 back into the community on an annual basis. Okay. Uh, once once you get that uh, money raised, uh, what uh, is, is there anything in, that uh, you're looking at as far as uh, uh, right off the bat to, to get, uh, get started on as far as helping out with a project? Uh, there are also projects that we could become involved with, uh, such as the Rebuild Hank over in Baseball Complex or the Community Activity Center. Uh, one of the projects uh, that we're going to use as our kickoff for a um, restricted uh, designated gift would go to the Majestic Theater. And the Majestic Theater, um, you know, it's it's been wonderful for the community. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a great asset. Uh, they have some immediate needs. They've kind of held off from doing any fundraisers, knowing that this may be a possibility to be able to run it through uh, this 501c3 because they are a 501c3 as well. And uh, but with us having this service available. Uh, they will roll this into our legacy, much as the Wayne County Historical Society also will be one of the um, projects that uh, we could take on. Somebody wants to donate, designate uh, specifically to uh, either the Majestic or the Wayne County that uh, will be a line item in underneath our account through the Nebraska Community Foundation. Uh, the Majestic Theater, getting back to that project, um, I've not seen any specific numbers at this point, but it appears that they need some upgrades in their uh, technology and their production end of it. 
uh, for being able to show um, the, the movies. And then they also are in need of a new roof for that. At the time when they remodeled that, uh, that was one of the projects that they didn't uh, do at that time. Uh, they did a lot of remodeling, but not to the roof. So uh, they are in need of a new roof. And so as part of this project that we are going to be uh, using for our kickoff and helping people just educate uh, them about what this Legacy Fund is all about. Uh, like I say, we'll be trying to grow the endowment and along with that then be doing specific projects uh, along the way such as the Majestic. I think, I don't, I don't know if people are, are aware of the, the technology that the, the movie theater <laughs> employs because, you know, when you think of movie theater, you think of, you think of uh, you know, reels of film that uh, are running through a, a film projector. Which which is you know, is going to age uh, both of us, I'm, I'm <laughs> for sure. sure. Uh, but uh, but you know the technology now is, is has advanced to now to the point where they don't even use film anymore. Everything is shot digitally. So so exactly. uh, uh, that that digital technology is and it, that that stuff continues to advance. It almost is obsolete the moment you pull that out of the box. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, but obviously that they, there's need to uh, upgrade that technology to, yeah. to meet meet with the. The uh, ongoing advancement in that in the, exactly, in the theater yeah. industry. No more reel to reel; it's all digitized. Yeah, like said, yeah, there's, so. yeah. There's no no uh, guys sitting up there, you know, <laughs> waiting for the movie together over and, and right. uh, you know, having to re re re, uh, re thread the the film when it goes out of the projector <laughs> or anything like that. Well, there, there's some old days. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Takes us back. Yeah. We're talking with uh, Bill Dickey here from the uh, Wayne Area Legacy Fund here on the, on the Voice of Wayne America program. And uh, summertime is here, in, in case you're not aware. And, and if your kid is partic participating in softball or baseball this summer, Mike EC Productions will have plenty of photos to choose from to help you fill up those scrapbooks. And speaking of scrapbooks, we will be adding scrapbooking to what we offer. So if you don't have time to update your kid's scrapbooks or just need somebody to take care of the work for you, Give Mike a call. Mikey C Productions, uh, Wayne's Home for Local Sports and, and Sports Photos and more. Check out the photo website at MikeyCProductions.SmugMug.com and get your favorite photos delivered today. Uh, talking here with uh, Bill Dickey uh, from the Wayne Area Legacy Fund here in Voice of Wayne America. And, and uh, uh, they have a really nice brochure that uh, that they have put out to uh, to kind of promote the uh, the Legacy Fund here and, and, uh, and hopefully generate some interest uh, here in the community to uh, to donate to the uh, Wayne Area Legacy Fund and, and I know there's options to donate over a three-year period or maybe a one-time option and I'm, and I'm sure that uh, uh, there are probably people in the community who have have uh, estates that they're that they're uh, looking to uh, uh, I guess you know take care of and want to want to try to help out this uh, this fund if, if possible or looking for some place to to uh, um, help out the community in some way or shape or form so I guess from from your perspective as uh, as the chairman of this, how if uh, somebody's got uh, an estate or wants to help out the fund somehow, what uh, what can they do to make that happen? You bet. Uh, thanks for asking, Mike. Because what uh, we really are looking at is uh, through this project is to be able to build the endowment uh, that will uh, continue to grow and and provide funding uh, for generations to come. And uh, again, as you mentioned earlier, the endowments like a permanent community savings account and that we're only going to spend the earnings off of that and the principal continues so the gift goes on year after year. And uh, so as we, as we do that, there will be uh, on our brochure that we have available, uh, there's a tear off page that uh, talks about how much you would like to pledge either a one time or even um, over a three year period. Uh, we are going to try to come up with a, a founders club that uh, anybody that would contribute between now and the end of the year would be part of this original uh, founders club. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're excited about that. Uh, we will also be working with financial planners, uh, with uh, attorneys within the area uh, to try to be able to have, gain some um, contacts to be able to develop. Uh, there are some people, you know, there's several ways that you can give, I mean, cash or property, but there's also uh, gifts of grain, livestock. Um, you can use uh, life insurance, memorials, any of those types of things. Gift annuities are another thing that would provide lifelong income uh, for you and for loved ones down the road. Um, so anyway, we we're working on that, but uh, our, our kickoff is actually uh, June 9th and 10th. Uh, that's uh, just about a week away. And uh, so what we will be doing is uh, have the chamber coffee on uh, the Friday, the June 9th, and that's going to be held at Arnie's Ford. And um, 
we're looking forward to um, kicking off the program or kind of launch it from there. And then uh, uh, continuing to work with Arnie's on the next day, on Saturday, the June 10th, uh, Ford Motor has a production called Drive for Your Community. And for everybody that would come in and do a test drive of a vehicle, Ford Motor will provide $20 uh, per test drive back to the Legacy Fund. Uh And we will hold that on uh, Saturday from about 9 till 2 and that'll be at the Wayne Fire Hall, uh, and we'll be serving some hot dogs over lunch and that type of thing to get more people out, I think. So uh, great opportunity. It's not going to cost them anything, a little bit of time to come, and uh, that could be part of their first contribution to the Legacy Fund is uh, through Ford Motor. Now, if they're going to they're gonna have any, like, black Ford Mustangs there, because <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, there's a Mustang there test drive. I'll, I'll give that thing a go. <laughs> there will be a wide range. If you've always <laughs> wanted to drive a Mustang, uh, they will be out there available. They will we'll have pickups. Uh, we'll have 10 or 12 vehicles out there, uh-huh. and it'll be... You have a couple of options. That we'll have a shorter route, but if you want to take a little longer spin... Uh, to do a test drive, uh, there'll be another route for that as well. So it okay. uh, should be a fun day, and uh, we hope that we have a great turnout for that event. Well, hopefully this uh, this, this will be a, a great uh, avenue for people to uh, donate to the to yeah. the, this fund, and, and uh, hopefully we can uh, see this uh, fund generate or generate a lot of interest and get you get you up near that uh, one million dollar goal in a in a short amount of time. That'd be that'd be great to, a great thing to see. That would be awesome. So, well, then, uh, as, as Bill said, uh, a big uh, kickoff is going to be at the uh, Wayne Chamber Coffee uh, next Friday on uh, June 9th, and that'll be at 10 o'clock at uh, Arnie's Ford in downtown Wayne, and then uh, a big event on uh, Saturday, an opportunity to test drive cars uh, the following day at the, at the fire hall. should be should be a lot of fun and, and a great uh, great way to, to raise raise money for the community, and, and uh, something like this is something that is, you, you, you know, you don't, maybe not see the... Uh, the impact of, of something like this in in the immediate future, but it's something that uh, will be will be able to uh, impact and, and improve the quality of living here in, in Wayne for for many years to come. That's uh, I think it's a great great uh, uh, a great thing to to be a part of, and, and hopefully we'll get a lot of people involved. Excellent. Yep. That's that's the goal. Um, again, I think it will be a great opportunity for people to uh, give back to the community and. Um, you know, I, I think in the long run, uh, like I say, long after we're gone, this will be an opportunity for people to continue to give and to be able to request funds uh, just to be able to improve um, whatever projects the community may need at that time. All right. Well, Bill, thanks a lot for taking time to talk to us on Voice of Wayne America this week, and uh, best of luck on this, and hope, hopefully we see some, some great results out of this. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate the opportunity to visit with you about the Legacy Fund. The first time I've done a podcast, so it's been fun and I appreciate the opportunity. Hey, well, I appreciate the, the time, taking the time to talk. That's uh, going to do it for this week's edition of the Voice of Wayne America podcast. Again, I want to thank uh, Bill Dickey, Chairman of the Fundraising Advisory Committee for the Wayne Area Legacy Fund. Check back to WayneAmerica.com as we continue to tell the stories of the people who make this the best town in all of America, and that's right here in Wayne America. Have yourselves a good week, and we'll see you later. Bye.